friends? Today I'm going to show you three easy ways to move Tinkercad parts between projects. So let's get cracking. So friends, this is the Tinkercad workspace. You've got home, classes, and we're going to move to designs. You can pick 3D designs, circuits, or code blocks. The trick today is going to be with the 3D designs. I'm going to launch my ET4X filament sensor cap. All we do is simply click Tinker This. All right, so here is way number one. Click on the shape that you want to put in another project. Switch to your creations and create a shape. Notice I do have to have it selected when I hit create a shape, depending on how complex it pops up over here. This will be a single piece. You will not be able to break it apart anymore, but you can move it between projects. So I'm going to give it the name ET4X cap. Could add more in the description. I could add tags. I could lock the part size for this one. That is the exact size it needs, but I still rarely do. And I'm going to save the shape. Now, whenever I launch another project, I can switch to your creations. And it'll be right there. The other way you can move it is by exporting it as a STL. Note I only have the selected shape. It's got the name already, so I can save it. Once again, when you bring that back in, you can't break it apart. Like right now, you can see this is a group. The final way you can move things between projects is by simply using the copy command. I'm going to do Control C to copy. You could have also went up here and clicked copy. Both are the same. I'm going to go back to the Tinkercad workspace. I'm going to start a brand new project. And when we enter, if we do control V, that project moved between them. And are you ready for this? We can ungroup it so you can see how I built it. This also makes it easier if you're trying to modify the part later. Finishing up though, let me show you. Here's how we can bring it in as a shape. Notice this one cannot be ungrouped. And then also we could import the other one, choose file. There is my sensor cap keeping the measurements and import. Note this does take more time because Tinkercad is interpreting that STL. Takes an extra moment, but bingo, there it is. Three cool ways you can move your parts between projects. Once again, copy and paste allows you to ungroup the other two ways they come in, but you cannot ungroup them anymore. Friends, as I wrap up, I want to say thanks real quickly to all my supporters on Patreon. Absolutely love how that community is growing. Don't forget there's messaging areas in there. And of course, there will be a link in the description. Finally, friends, I want to thank you for watching the video. Don't forget every time you hit that like button, share the video or add a comment. It helps the channel get just a little bit bigger, which absolutely makes my day. Of course, friends, have a glorious day and keep tinkering. In wrapping up, I do want to highlight my website, hlmodtech.com. Friends, I've got a page dedicated to Tinkercad with all these amazing categories. If you look below that, you'll find the day one favorites, the useful starters, and the Tinkercad essentials. If you scroll down just a little bit further, you will find my course, Tinkercad in 20 Days, which is hosted on cadclass.org. If you check out this video, you'll learn all about the course. I do also want to highlight the coupon code 25, HL Tinkercad. It'll get you 25% off any of the amazing courses on cadclass.org. You can get to the website in a heartbeat by simply clicking visit now. Friends, I do also want to highlight the sweet built-in messaging button. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.